Meeting. Chair, I'd like to make a motion for the legal budget for $176,182. Second. All right, and discussions, discussion if any. What is your pleasure? There it is. I've got it. Right tab. Are you ready to repeat that one more time for me, Steve? <coughs> one six. <laughs> God bless you. Gesundheit. 176182. Okay. Discussion? You know, there's an interesting little problem, Madam Chair. Yes. For those who are not aware, the Board of Selectmen had a meeting tonight, or 4 o'clock this afternoon. After coming out of non public, they made their position clear that they were not going to pay for the budget committee's. Uh, hired attorney. Am I stating that accurately, Regina? That's correct. Okay. And so it does pose the question, should the budget committee pay for the selectman's attorney? Well, no, that's not well, totally we, correct. We actually have the attorney here, too, and it's his budget, so I think he should be... Well, you actually had, well, you actually had budget committee members at the selectman's meeting, and you didn't, you didn't invite them to speak. Uh, at, at the time you were making a decision not to pay for the budget committee's attorney. So I see no reason to uh, ask the selectman's attorney to come here to ask the budget committee whether we want to pay for the selectman's attorney. If the minute, as far no. as I know, he's not the selectman's attorney. He is, he fact, is as well. entirely the by the board of selectmen. It's the town council for the whole town and the whole town budget. Well, that's the way it should be, but it isn't. He works directly for the selectmen. Yeah. He's, he's paid by the selectmen. There's a conflict, Jimmy. The selectman's the interest prevails. He's paid by the well, selectmen. He's paid by yes. the town. We're talking he's about paid the town by budget right So isn't the budget committee's so paid by the So isn't the line item for the budget committee's lawyer paid by the town? And we have town council and we have NHMA, who you don't like anymore either. No, no. So we don't have access to anymore thanks to the board of select well if you want to hire an attorney you go to the property well that's what we were trying to do but no we just got rejected but, out of hand okay. no yeah because that's wait 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 there is proper Regina, procedure hold on for a minute we voted in public yes after receiving notice from attorney gerald we took a public vote at our december 20th meeting that is documented and the wording is all set in the minutes. But if someone, excuse me, if someone had a problem with that, they could have picked up the telephone and said, hey, you guys can't do that because we control the money and we're not going to sign anything and we let's sit down and work this out. But that was not done. I'm, I have had the same phone number in this community for 53 years, and every darn one of you knows how to find me. And if somebody had a problem with that public vote, they could have picked up the phone and contacted me. Public vote to decide for the budget committee to get an attorney? Yes. But in order for anyone and I, to we get... We gave you the signed document. Yes, but in order for anyone to get an attorney, it has to be signed by Fred. And in order for it to be we signed by Fred... We could have had someone pick up the confounded phone and said, hi, folks, you took a vote. But there are things you have to do. So, Nobody contacted so, me. So what Can the you problem help me is, out as far as the typical procedure for all other boards? We don't do this the all the time, and we're not all other boards. This is the first time I can. No, I, well, think, I don't think we need are, that, Regina. The because rules, I well, think, the rules are the I same think, for all the boards. I know they're, they're, no, say. they're not actually. No, as far no, as hiring, no, no. The board of selectmen are exempted. Yeah. As where far as the hiring, rules? Law, board of selectmen are exempted from their own rules. The, where are the rules? Yes. Only, the, the only the rules? Mr. Waltz can sign a contract. Yes, we didn't even get to that. I know. You see but what I'm saying? This is where we need to go to the future, because but Monday. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's my probably too late now to get on the agenda for Monday. But all you, it was not rejected. It was just that you just need to go before the selectmen. That's fine. If and someone tell them. picked up the telephone subsequent to December twenty. Well, this is what I we're understand. trying to explain now. It's holiday. I don't get it's it. It's been a Madam it's Chair, fine. point of order. But yeah. order. I made a motion <laughs> for a budget. Yes. I think we're straying far well, away from, well, I from think approving this motion right. that's on the floor. I think we're Steve, very far away from we're doing well, discussion. Me, I, I may, after you made your motion, yeah. I made a statement that as a consequence of this recent activity, yeah. 
Yeah. I am less inclined to vote for the selectman's attorney, given the selectman's lack of support for the budget committee having an attorney. That's all I said. Okay. Essentially. And I would like to say now, it is other not people, the selectman's other people attorney, other people are commenting it's the town council. Other oh. people are commenting. For everyone watching other, at other home, people are commenting on. Thank you. You can call him God's counsel if you want to. The fact of the matter is, his client is the Board of Selectmen. The Board of Selectmen direct his activities exclusively, at least allegedly. Well, if we follow the procedure... But where is the procedure, Brian? Well, this is what was explained. I, I, I was, I was about to agree to with you. Regina's statement regarding procedure crippled? and they Brian. pick up the phone. I guess you could have called them, too. Why did I call them? We did the motion in... <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> We did the motion in public. We discussed it in public. I understand I'm that. I'm a little confused. I didn't realize. It's not being realized. I would, to attorney I, I, general I would like to make a point real quick. I don't deal with I'm a little confused. If the town, the selectman can use a town attorney to blast us out of the water with a cannonball, yeah. why can't we get a lawyer without going through the selectman? Because naturally, if they don't like us or are trying to destroy us, why would we need their approval? Because they are on, or would automatically say no. So that doesn't make any sense to me that the budget committee needs anybody's approval to do anything. To follow on that, I've asked for the past three weeks to various people. If the town attorney represents the selectman, and he's a town attorney, doesn't he also represent everybody in the town, including the budget committee? Yes, and I've been told no. Right. That confuses me because if he's the town attorney, he should represent me as a member and my opinion. And maybe he can clarify this for me, please. Conflict of interest. Well, conflict of interest. He's also my attorney. But he's not. That's the problem. Right? He's not. No. They turn, they, they if it comes down to one versus the other, he is a... Uh, he's the selectman. He's attorney. obligated to the selectman. Right. Okay. Th that answers And then so all we fall. need to do... Is if we're going to still get an attorney? Now wait a minute. Let just me finish go what I and have to say. You're interrupting in the sense that I said that he, if you weren't going to do this, he could also represent the budget committee on other things, and I've been told no. So what you just said doesn't necessarily work. It's saying he really is, and I'd like to have it clarified. That's all. Is he yeah. just the selectman's attorney, or if I went to him on the sake of our marriage, or we went to him, whatever? And we have a problem. Isn't he also our? And we also have a, a blind man we went over right before. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ask him. Right. yeah. Ask him. I, I will. I only took pre-law, so I can, I can help you there. <laughs> but also, don't we also have another thing? The last week we went over it, we had like $2,000 in a line item for yeah. legal fees. Wouldn't that help with, with the town? Now, the town attorney, could you yeah. please help me? Okay. I... Um, do advise regularly uh, many boards in town. The questions that come to me come to me through the chairman of the board, so I don't take them one board member at a time. So if the board needs to ask me questions, I would answer them, unless there is some conflict with the subject. We, we took that step after we received your letter on 91A. Obviously, you were acting in behalf of the Board of Selectmen. I took the Selectmen's direction to send to each board member individually a right to no law request. Yes. And you so were representing the Selectmen at that point in time, right? right? I yeah. took their direction to do that. I stuff. recall when I read the minutes on December 5th, Board of Selectmen, Mr. Waddell, suggested a letter to the budget committee. Yeah. You didn't send a letter, you sent an RSA 91 request. I no. see there's a line here for, uh, for outside counsel. Planning board, I guess it was last year, disagreed with your ruling. They went to an outside counsel. My Planning wrong? board, I think you're talking about a question there as to obligation for lighting. And they wanted, uh, they wanted to have an answer from someone other than myself. Mm -hmm. They went to the, the selectmen. They asked them, can we hire this outside counsel? They went to the the selectmen. selectmen said yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Mark, yeah. 
because the line the, here for 35,000. The budget 35, committee has not had a legal line until this past year. And we received the letter that you sent in behalf of the Board of Selectmen and felt that we wanted counsel. If, uh, if we did not have the right to do that, we did the best we could under the circumstances that we had, and it was holiday time to boot, someone could have picked up the phone and called us and said, by the way, you know, you guys took that vote, but you need to be aware that you will need to run this by the Board of Selectmen and the manager, et cetera. The Budget Committee is an independent elected committee. So I, f I thought, and I f we felt, I think, that we were within our rights to seek counsel. It wouldn't hurt if people communicated a little better around here. Well, it's it's something you've been on the board of selectmen. You've seen that very instance with the planning board when they came for that. That's been the procedure all along. The, the selectmen approve the hiring of outside counsel. Well, if we need to go in, and then we will go in and make an appointment or however we need to do it. Sure. One <clears throat> clarifying point on what you said, uh, Mark that uh, questions to, to you from the boards, those for the chairman. Uh, I got that, I heard that right. Correct? Individual que questions such as, do we advice? I don't, I don't take it from 15 different people asking me questions. Right. Those get funneled through the chairman. Yeah. Right, and that'd be true for all the boards. True. Yeah. And this committee, which is not a board, but a committee. Sure. Uh, except one, there's one exception, <laughs> isn't there? The Board of Selectmen is exempt from that. Individual selectmen ask you questions all the time, right? Yes. Yes, True. they do. So once again, the Board of Selectmen is exempt from the Board of Selectmen's policy on that. Just wanted to point that out. Okay. I got one other question for Mark. <clears throat> Isn't it true in the past you've uh, uh, excused yourself or whatever the right word is when there's a conflict between boards and Hampton? Uh, like when at, it was a... At times. So I don't view I don't view a right to no law request for information that the law requires people to produce as necessarily a conflict situation. Well, let me ask you this question: Why are you asking for the 91A then? Because the uh, it had come to my attention and the selectman's attention that there had been communications by email yeah. outside of a public <laughs> meeting from various members. Yeah to all of the board, yeah. which was not purely informational. It was expressing opinions, offering information that would be used to uh, influence decisions. And those are things that come up at these meetings in public, in front of the public, and not somewhere on the side. And as a result, I sent an email to all of you that said, these types of emails violate right to know law, and in particular, a recent Superior Court case in which the town of Sandwich got whacked. And that's being appealed. It is being appealed, but it's still a case that everyone needs to know about, and municipal attorneys in the groups that get together train their clients in accordance with that decision, which is what I did last year, not only to this board, but to the Planning Board, the Zoning Board of Adjustment, the trustees of the trust funds, the energy committee. You know, these are the types of things, if you know that that's a potential out there, you don't want to take the chance of risking hundreds of thousands of dollars of attorney's fees, because you never know who's going to take issue with that type of proceeding. I, I appreciate that, but in that particular case, he was, the judge ruled that it was an opportunity for people to respond. Mm -hmm. And that would be true if I sent out an email to everyone on the budget committee that we're going to have a meeting next week as a procedural thing. And there's an opportunity to respond to that, too. So what I'm trying to say is the judge's ruling is borderline ridiculous, okay? And I think you can appreciate that looking at it from that point of view. So I think that you standing on that is very inappropriate, in my opinion. Well, the, the emails that, that caught my attention in the, in the, in the attention of the selectmen were the emails that were more than just minutes from the from the secretary that said here are your minutes 
They were more than saying, okay, we have a meeting this coming date. They were more than that. So you're saying that there was emails sent to everybody on the budget committee that took a position on something and encouraged somebody else to do the same thing? Or expressed an opinion that something that would occur, uh, that occur in this you, meeting. He sent I your emails I, in there, right? Yeah. Tim, you had a question? I think everybody's got the same emails here. Right. Yes. What did you find in Bob's that... Well, I haven't gotten all the violation. responses yet to know. That, let's see what the requests show. Well, you know, well, you, I, 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 you I, I would like to, to have that question. Yeah, wait, one, wait one second for me. I sent emails to everyone so everyone would know what was going on. Nobody responded to me because I sent emails that said... I have corrected the schedule for the fifth time or the eighth time or whatever it was. There, there was more than that. Well, there was I don't a remember that. There was a response to one yes, of your emails. Mr. Pierce and Ms. Barnes got into this conversation a couple of meetings ago. And Mr. Pierce was asking for evidence of this nature. Ms. Barnes responded with a forwarding of the email the next day. And which, provided a hard copy. Right, well, anyway, uh, PS, Mr. Pierce shared that response with me. And so I am now knowledgeable as to the uh, genesis, as Mr. Dean would call it, as to this entire action. Right? This was, was that email. There, right? were, there were several emails. It was that email that was the genesis of this action. Not necessarily. There were a number oh, well, of emails. Oh, well, that was what Regina was representing to Mr. Pierce. So well, just because Mr. Pierce said that, but no one replies. That's why I brought that specific one up. Yeah. And that, oh, so that wasn't the entire genesis. Okay, fine. There was a uh, I Port, haven't asked the question. Porter yet, versus sandwich case Mark. that I'm citing to you said in particular, it doesn't <clears throat> matter if anyone responds. Mark. The, the emails create an opportunity. Exactly. And that, if I sent an email to everybody that we're going to have a meeting next week, that'd be violating that judge's ruling. And that is purely ridiculous. Yeah. How know, can you communicate to I your fellow members? I have not members? finished yet. Oh, all right. Okay. Back to your, your statement on policy of answering questions uh, through the chair. Um, and individual members receive correspondence from you. We receive that as individual members. Correct? Uh, that depends. Well, in this case, you sent us individual communication. I copied. I Addressed to us individually. As counsel, I copied all of you. Which but I'm those letters were do. sent to us individually, as individual members, correct? You were copied as counsel, giving advice. I was, no, no, no. I'm talking about your the 91A request that you in, sent to us each individually. Correct. Okay. So you did not send it to the budget committee. You sent it to budget committee members individually. Well, I didn't send it to you because you weren't a member of the budget committee. I sent it to you because you are. Well, let's stay with the positive rather than the negative. Yep. You sent it to the individual members, not to the budget committee as a whole. You did not communicate to us through the chair. So you communicated to us individually. Right. So if we individually responded to you by, say, uh, a phone call saying, hey, Mark, I'd like to get clarification on this, give me a call back, and we get no phone call back, okay, then we can, I think, reasonably conclude that you're not going to, you know, uh, help in any way in terms of getting clarity and just exactly what you're asking for, and that this may be an adversarial situation in which we should take extra care. And so I think that to be reasonable, don't you think so, so Mark? I mean, if you had a client in that situation, wouldn't you so advise him to take extra care if they wouldn't even call you back and say, yeah, I can give you some clarity. What do you, what do you need? The letter, the letter that I uh, sent out requested that all responses be made to the selectman's office. Yeah, but there was, it was, it, that's exactly the point. It was not clear exactly, to me, exactly what was being requested. And well, it still is to this day not clear to me exactly what's being, but we're not going to get into that have, tonight. I haven't heard that through anyone. Well, you're hearing it right now on TV, and you can watch it a thousand times if you want to. It is not clear what you're asking for. Okay? And when a member calls you up because you sent him an individual letter asking for information, and the member calls you up and says, hey, can I get some clarity, and he gets no call back, what's the member to do? I, 
I've so received no such take, take a take a take a big guess as to what he's asking for and maybe violate the right to know law or does he go see counsel and say hey counsel help me out I want to do this right I don't want to violate the law that seems to me to be the most reasonable course that any reasonable person would take I've received uh, no such call that's untrue yeah. And I think it's pretty simple because I'm reading the request. <laughs> and this re request seeks records and information from all members of the Budget Committee requesting copies of any and all written correspondence, including but not limited to emails, etc., etc., amongst the Budget Committee. I get it. Well, you get it, but I don't. Mark, have you gotten anyone that's fully satisfied that request? Yes. Yeah. So how many years should they go yes, back? Mark? That's a yes, as far okay. as I know. Okay, so they all they all sent you printed copies of everything. No, they sent it to the selectman's office. No, no. Well, sense. the instructions in the letter was to send it to 100 Winnicott Road. Okay? Now, the only way to do that is via paper. Yeah. So you got everyone printed out all their emails, they gave you copies of all their budget books, all the handouts that they've gotten through all the years they served on the budget committee, Mark? Because your request includes everything from all time, all communications, and the phrase others, I might add, and Ryan, others. also includes others. any email or love notes that we may have received from any of our constituents. <laughs> or any response that I have may, may have given my nephew who lives in Alaska asking me how's things going on the budget committee Uncle Tim and I responded to him and told him and I'm supposed to tell you about that too because you're asking for all of that so when I say it's not clear I consider it overly burdensome if you take it literally for the way it's written right and I don't think he meant it literally and so therefore I consider it unclear well, I am. So I want to be clear on why it's not clear to me, Brian. I did not respond to him in telling Mrs. Woosley how my wife was doing in surgery. That's because you would choose to interpret it that way, but that's not what literally he asked for. And when you're dealing with legal matters, no. you deal with it literally. Let, let me put it this way, folks. I think I have an obligation as the chairman of this committee to let everybody know what's going on at the same time. If I had to change a schedule, and it's been mostly schedule and meeting date changes, I send out a copy to everybody. Regina is a member of the committee. She gets a copy. Bob Ladd gets a copy. Uh, whoever. And I'm, I'm, what do you want me to do? Send individual emails? If I'm sending individual emails, I'm having a problem. Am I supposed to call 12 people? Same problem. And tell them, same problem, because then I'm talking to them personally. I have sent no written correspondence to anybody. But Regina has copies. I've made a couple of requests to Fred or Christy by themselves, or just Fred and Christy's name on them. But, you know, I, aside from the one email when I really got blasted by people that weekend, and I said, boy, everybody jumped all over me because they're all mad over the money and I probably shouldn't have sent that but I was so dazzled having everybody yell at me all weekend that I thought I would share that thought other than that I just am sending routine informational emails out and did you do the training with the board about emails mm -hmm. last year yes we also no, last year did you, we do, did you do, it, you didn't do it this year with the new members or new board no the uh, the the uh, NHMA people came in, and as I understand it, they talked about the same thing yes. with emails. Right, but I think it might be a, a, just a suggestion that maybe every year we need to go over this because it's really tricky. Mark, when the NHMA was in, when Buckley and Burns were in, they ordered Channel 22 shut off. Do you remember when you got upset with the zoning board when they were fighting and Channel 22 got turned off? And that set you on an email, and uh, uh, an RSA 91A crusade. NHMA told us to turn off those cameras. And they were turned off, and there were no legal issues discussed while the cameras were off. And Mr. Jones, Mr. Pierce, and I objected, and that's on the tape. 
That's on the tape. And they said that they only represent the Board of Selectmen. This is messy. Another point I'd like to make is the reason why so many things were copied, like the request through Regina was so everybody on the committee would know we in fact had asked for something like a half a dozen times for each article, yeah. each item. Getting information back to the, from the selectmen or whomever in the town has been impossible this year. Uh, it's been the worst I've, I've ever, it's been, been the you? worst I've ever seen it, period. Well, sometimes you can't just get what you want right when you want it. This well, you have waste. to at least respond like you might think about doing it what this happened? year. Oh, my God. I'm done. No, but, but Regina, it, right? Regina, I sent an email to you that said, I'm following up because there has been a unanimous vote of the Budget Committee to please give us the IT report. We, we did. Once we got it, when did this come in? And we approved it tonight, and right after we, we approved it tonight. We haven't seen the confounded blankety-blank IT report until you handed it to us this evening. We, we just saw it tonight for what? the first time. Brian and Tim were there. You voted it? Yeah, yes. Tonight. Well, big yes. deal. But the vote was, what, in October or something? To ask we didn't have it. I know, but you could respond and say, hey, we haven't got it yet. He's asked me several times about it, and that's what I've told him. Well, I was asked for Madam Chair, exactly what are we discussing? I don't know. We're but discussing the legal account. There's a confusion. For 187 or whatever it is. <laughs> Thank, you, it's to be. Thank you, Jenny. If Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. If I am, if, if the procedure dictates that I go in to see the Board of Selectmen, normally they won't take appointments at this you know, a time, but if I have to can call a town office tomorrow morning and see if I can get a spot on the agenda for Monday night, I will do that. Would you like one? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> what time? Where, where on the agenda? Seven, seven. seven o'clock okay. on Monday. <laughs> All right. But the, I think this this right really, you, and I really think, Mark, you could have come in and talked to us in public. Uh, bad timing and the holiday time and I think that budget committees are not generally uh, um, I don't know messed up like this but I think we thought and I certainly thought that I was doing what I could to advise to inform everyone and I didn't ask for I did ask for information from Regina but I didn't ask anybody to tell me how they were going to vote whatever uh, give, give one second. Let me do Steve, and then we'll do you. Okay. Well, this committee, everyone that's here, including, I think, our newest member. Dave, Dave yeah. Correct? No, actually, apparently. No, I came on in oh, April. Oh, that's right. You're right, right. I came on in Who April. Who has only been on this board for six weeks. Am I not about right? And I have had zero training on Okay. <laughs> okay. But you haven't fired, right? No. And I just want to I just want to mention to everybody here, and especially to David, okay, that if you cannot, if you respond to an email that's been sent out to everybody here, that creates an illegal meeting. Okay. That's he he's new. Okay, he's very new. So I just want to acknowledge that, that he has had no training. Yeah, really there needs this. to be substance to the response, doesn't there, Mark? I mean, for example, I, I sent out a link. And I think to, he learned to, his lesson. I think he learned his lesson. Wait, I'm still talking. I never got a response. And I hope that if anybody did respond accidentally, just because perhaps they were didn't know, that they know now what the deal is. This was before David, but I remember either Mary Louise, maybe it was Nick, but I'm pretty sure it was you, saying in one of these meetings, do not reply at all for that specific purpose. Yeah. So I think we were trying yeah. to avoid any sort of... How many of you meeting? emailed me back when I said this is my ninth so correction? I specifically remember that, and that's why I yeah. never replied. That's right, right. exactly. So. You're exactly correct. Dave was new. Dave's the one that replied to it. Yeah. And I don't consider Dave's reply to be substantial. I mean, I sent out a link to everyone tonight, all right, so they could listen to the audio tonight's selectmen's meeting. Yes. Okay? Now, if someone replies to that and says, thank you, 
Would you consider that a violation of, of the right to know law? I'm not going to get into exactly. hypotheticals. Exactly, you would, because there's no substance. No, I've said I'm not going to get into hypotheticals tonight. Oh, well, will someone do that now? Send me a thank you so it won't be hypothetical any longer. So all Dave said was to Mary Louise was, good to hear, no, I'm happy, uh, nor am I happy about them. That's not substantive in my mind. It's an opinion. Land. I think the judge would share that opinion. We are not comporting ourselves tonight in a way that the people watching this are going to be proud of. We've got to get back to budget mm -hmm. and off this yin and yang between the two groups. But we've been groups. placed in a difficult situation, Bob, and it's either nobody knows what's going on at all, and 95% of that is scheduling and what to do and where to show up and, and all that. I don't think I've ever gotten a response from any one of the emails I sent to you guys saying, attention, you know, throw the old one away. Here's the new, it's been mostly scheduling. But anyway, we need, we do need to clarify. Well, I'll tell you but I will show up on Monday. I'll tell you this, Mary Louise. Yes. In my, in my business career, I have, I have had a number of attorneys, well over a dozen, and never once did one of attorney that was representing me or companies that I was working with ever say to me, I don't entertain hypotheticals. Now, I've had attorneys who were not representing my company would say that to me, but never one that was actually representing me. So I think that's just another indicator as to whether or not he's representing you, David, as you were asking. But, but I think a phone call might have avoided a lot of this stuff, frankly. On a phone call on either side. You could have called Mary Louise. Mark could have called. Okay, six to one, half a dozen to the other. We really need to get back to the yes. legal account yes. and the approval yes, of that bond. Brian, Great. real quick, what and then we're going to get focused in. No, I'm not going down there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they showed um, on your 1214 report uh, amount available 10477 for the legal. The financials for November? Yes, no, December. Uh, December. December 14. Well, December 14. I have December 14, 2016. That's through 1130, correct? I don't have those with me, but I believe that's the financials from November. Oh, okay. Well, I was just curious as to know. Are we going? I haven't released December yet because they're not done. Right. Oh well. Thank you anyway. I think you'll see the document says through November 30, although it was sent out in December. Yes, as they always do. Oh, way. So it's an 11. Are uh, we going to come in under budget? Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. Under budget for legal? Yes. They are getting close. Okay, that's what, that's where I was getting. Thank you. Okay. Right. Move on, Madam Chair. Yes. And. I will, yes, and I will make one more comment. You never replied to me, you never responded to me, you never called me, Mark, when I stuck my head in your door and said, please notify the NHMA that I am chairing now, Nick is gone as of September. And I didn't stand there browbeating you, I just made it a request. And after that, the board voted on December 5th to chop everybody off except for the top five. So I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, in favor of the bottom line of the operating budget for legal, repeat that again. I have 176182. Correct, correct. correct. Okay, in favor? Okay, we have um, Barnes, Bridal, Kravitz, and Brian, <laughs> Fluff, and Augustine, and Ranch, and Ladd. Opposed? Pierce, Henderson, Woolsey, uh, Jones, and Marr. All right. Thank you. We. A minute. <laughs> Madam Chair, I'd like thank to. You, thank you very much. Could, could I just make sure of the nose, please? Uh, nose were Pierce and uh, Henderson, Woolsey. No. And um, I have Jones, Jones, Mara, and Marr. Henderson, Woolsey, and Pierce. Yes. Jones Anybody and else is a no? Maura? Yeah, Maura. Anybody else is a yes. Okay. 